Hey everybody, this is Ben, and welcome back to another episode of the Feed the Beast Artisans in Agrarian Skies. And this episode, um, I am running solo. Uh, had We have some scheduling conflicts and stuff, so uh, all of us guys are not able to meet up as often as before, so um, this is going to be just a solo me episode. Um, it's even been a while since I've been able to get on the server for very long. Um, I pop in and check on my stuff, but just so much busyness. So first of all, let me uh, cover stuff I've been working on. Um, still, I'm trying to take a, a sensible path through the bees, but man, I, I'm not totally sure where I want to end up even. Um, but uh, we got some quests to work on and got some stuff to show you. First of all, check out all the flowers. Holy cow! <laughs> These bees are going to town. Um, so, uh, let's see. The last thing I remember I was doing is... We'll just ignore all this stuff real quick. I was setting up a row of apiaries uh, for bee quests because in here we have... Uh, I'm using cultivated bees because I have just a million of them. And let me move my quest book down real quick. So what? this is just a row, an entire row of like feedback looped, essentially, uh, cultivated bees just in a long line. And they all feed through these tubes. Come a nice little overpass here down to this end. And here is the quest delivery system. Oh, here we go. Here's some bees coming through. Cool. Check it out. Oh, they're going down, going down. Yep. Go bees, go. Look at those bees go. Oh, and here comes some honeycomb. Oof, that's going down into this chest. But it never stays there because I snuck in a um, Applied Energistics import bus down there. There, you can see that. So it's delivering bees for a quest. And this is just a random input for when I was loading in all the queens and stuff. That was much quicker than going apiary to apiary. So if we take a look in the quest book, the quest that that is working on is bragging rights. If we look in here, and it's the B domination, zero <laughs> percent. Bees, bees, and more bees. Gotta breed them all. Luckily for you, any drone will work for this quest. Yeah. So it says forest drone, and oh my gosh, look at that, 356 out of 100,000. So uh, that hasn't been running too long, but seriously, only 356 out of 100,000. I'm really, really not sure if that would ever finish. Um, maybe after a couple of months of idling, and I mean, seriously, you get you get a B mastery sign. That's <laughs> that's not very good. All of these uh, bragging rights ones are kind of like that. Um, oh, this one might not be too bad. I just have one of every machine. Well, geez, that's that's really not that hard. We could finish that one. But anyway, let's go back to. Um, oh, did let's see, learning skyblock. That one is all. Did I claim all of these? Yeah, I want to make sure I didn't miss any. Steel plower. Looks like Funshine must have completed this one. Woohoo! Um, I I don't think I have the inventory space to even claim all those. And let's see, Hell's Kitchen. I bet there's some. Wow, I missed I missed a bunch here. Uh, so yeah, you have to check out the other guys' videos on those. But I've been working on the bees and trees. Oh, look at this! I got some more. So we got uh, beekeeping. This was just a seed oil and an artificial hive. Super easy. Uh, then scented hive and a scoop. Um, just you throw your artificial hive in some seed oil. You know, um, in a in a in a bin. In a uh, wow, ah, stupid cats. Um, in in this thing over here is the, the barrel, oak barrel. Okay, I'm getting that confused with the the storage barrels. That's why I thought it wasn't a barrel. And I, I apologize for the, the cat slaughter here, but seriously, I cleared these out right before I started recording. And they're back. <laughs> this little, my little island in the jungle here has become extremely annoying. Um, I'm level, leveling up my sword, though, too, by the way. That's, that's accustomed, my, my paper sword. <laughs> so, back to the bees at hand. Um, let's see here. How's my inventory? I have so many bees everywhere. 
let me let me get going on what I'm trying to work on breeding wise I've made numerous mistakes so this has turned out difficult uh, on the positive side uh, my industrious bees are working excellently I have a full-on industrious queen with industrious drones um, they are moderately productive but they have a four four times breeding multiplier so I have quite a few industrious princesses as well as you know stacks of drones and some pollen and some stringy comb so I should be able to make an alviary um, out of that stuff as long as but the only problem is over here on the imperial line it's not doing so well we're stuck at majestic I, I don't have any nobles left to crossbreed with the majestic and it turns out that's a terribly big problem uh, so I, I believe I'm missing the royal jelly to move on to the alviaries. Um, but anyway, so industrious is going good. That's nice. I could make a huge line of those, um, like the cultivated line over there. That might be a good idea because they have such a high um, breeding multiplier. I mean, this is all just from a single apiary. So yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do that at some point because I don't need to have that many. I'm mostly just interested in the product. Yeah. Um, so let's see over here. What did I, I got these all shut off? These all loops. Uh, here's my unwearies that were part of that. Um, my industrious line. I just shut that off. What do we got here? A random common. I don't even know what some of these are. But enough with those simple loopback ones. Here is the future of beekeeping. It's an industrial apiary, as you can see from Gendistry. If we look in here, it looks sort of similar to uh, an apiary. You got your your princess slot, your drone slot, um, except over here we show how much power it's got, which is quite a lot. And here are your, your frame slots, uh, but those are completely different frames than the regular hive frames. So what I am going to be doing in here, first of all, let's be analyze some stuff. Cultivated, only two X on the fertility. I should really find a cultivated with a better fertility than that. Um, but then here I have a common cultivated hybrid. Um, yeah, I think that's, I want to breed, oh, I don't know. Maybe just a cultivated and a plain old common. Here, let's just take a look at this stack. 3x, common, slower, lifespan, shorter. That's all right. What was she again? shortest lifespan okay I would like to keep the shortest lifespan I'm current I, I've been going with shortest lifespan because that gives me the fastest generations so I can iterate through bees very quickly so hmm those are okay those are the same and these I, I nice thing that it seems to only take one honey drop to analyze the whole stack of, of drones <laughs> and those are all roughly the same all right so I can pick kind of kind of any of those so maybe I'll do that common princess let's take a look at you you're common oh yeah that's good I could cross that with a cultivated drone hmm well let's do my cultivated princess here with just a straight up common drone. Oh, yep. Sorry, I meant to do that. All right. And we're going to throw them into the industrial apiary because I have some frames in here that give me some very nice features. Uh, I have the light upgrade, which essentially is very, this is very similar to an alviary, except there aren't different blocks that you have to swap out into the construction of. Uh, so I get this frame that gives me the light upgrade. And, you know, obviously that makes them work at night, no matter what. And the seal upgrade, rain protection. So they work in the rain, no matter what the bee stats are. And this one is the best one, is the lifespan upgrade, which you can have up to four, you can see I have in there, decreases the lifespan by 33%. That's awesome, because I want to iterate through these generations and try to get the combinations that I want as quickly as possible. So we're going to go ahead and shove these guys in. And there we go. And that, oh, I gotta turn it on. Always on, sure, sounds good. And then I have an empty frame slot there because what I had before, good luck cultivated queen. 
um, I had this one here frame automation upgrade you can put one in it automates it takes care of um, doing it essentially loops any created princesses and drones back into the input slots automatically without having to have these pipe loops and everything around there it's really great it's a great idea so we will just let them cook for a while and I uh, gosh I have so many so many freaking bees oh look at that 50% already that is awesome that that's I love that lifespan upgrade slash downgrade <laughs> probably doesn't feel like an upgrade for the bees oh and I have a majestic over here Hmm. All right, let me just wait one more moment. I think these are going to go real quick, and we'll see what kind of bees we got out. Um, yeah, I have the... Oh, look at that. Done. Super nice. We're going to cook these guys up. No sweat. Okay, so let's analyze. Cultivated. Cultivated common. All right, that's fine. Uh, and so we got the common with the three times. Yeah, yeah, nothing special. Cultivated common. All right, same deal. And common cultivated. Great. So now, oh, yeah, I see what's going there. Common, oh. I want. If anybody has experience with bees, you're probably, like, screaming at me for the way I'm doing this. But I'm trying to cause a, a split into, you know, noble. I can get some pure nobles. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Dang it. <laughs> I really ought to turn this thing off when I'm working on this stuff. Cultivated. Oh no. I have so many freaking bees in here. Oh my god. Well, it was a cultivated princess. So it's probably on this page. Cultivated common. That's it, right? Right. Let's take a look. Uh, that looks like it. Okay. Cultivated common. Common cultivated with the 3x. Common with the 3x. All right. Yep. I'm going to do those two. And we just smack them back in here. Yep. Great. Take that honey. Sure. And we'll wait another, like, one minute. Oh, look, it's nighttime. Um, I have a couple of beds around here. Here we go. So, real quick, um, I, I want to sleep to keep the rest of the bees working. Because, obviously, the industry, um, industrial apiary, you know, I don't have to worry about it. But I'd like to keep all of these guys working um, just to keep the bee production going while I'm on, anyway. Um, so, one of the other things I've done is I've expanded my little power area here, because I am actually still independently powering the, um, all the stuff over here, and my, um, in the industrial apiary over there. And that sucker sucks quite a bit of power. So, um, I did overdo it a bit on the upgrades, because we are... Let's see. Oh, it looks like that one's not quite staying full, but mostly uh, plenty of lava plenty of lava everywhere for these magmatic dynamos and here i have my bee machines which i have all with uh, applied energistics input output stuff uh, one of the nicest things is the centrifuge here i have a recipe set up to just automatically take my honeycombs and make them into the honey drops um, i have just a few combs set aside over here in case i need to craft stuff with them but mostly just pop that in there and uh yeah it's going and we get uh we get honey let's see how much we have almost three thousand honey drops <laughs> piece of cake so and, and then i have my filing cabinets here with just messes of bees that i don't even know <laughs> Uh, okay and oh i also have a filing cabinet over here on my uh cultivated line my conga line of cultivateds uh for all of the queens that come out of that stuff and check that out that is just ridiculous i could quadruple the size of this line and at some point i might find that to be necessary <laughs> but not right now oh got some more stuff coming through i love the clear ones that's that's good old like build craft style pipes can see what you're doing. All right, let's go check this industrial apiary real quick. I bet it's time to cycle already. Yep, look at that. Common princess. Yuck. That's going backwards. Cultivated drone. Common drone. 
This is bees, as far as I understand it. Common, common. Oh, that's awful. Cultivated, cultivated. Also awful. This is not at all what I wanted. Common, cultivated. Okay. At least we're getting we're getting some shortest uh, pollination. I do not care about pollination on these guys. So that's a three times and shortest uh, on a cultivated there. So maybe if I swap in a new cultivated princess, which as you have seen, I have tons of laying around. So uh, shortest three times on the cultivated. Yep, that's good. And what was this one again? This is just common. Um, yeah, I don't know. That feels like it's gonna, gonna get nowhere. I wonder, oh no, no. Okay, good. <laughs> I had that turned off. Um, I should get rid of all those guys. I'm not gonna use them right now. Let's throw them over here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. And Majestic Princess, I'll set aside. And Cultivated Common Drone. Okay. Oh, this is not the thrilling... Oops. Not the thrilling beekeeping that I was hoping for. Mm-hmm. Okay. I almost wonder if I should pick a couple and just set this thing, turn the automation back on and see what happens. <laughs> um, I know there is a genetic stabilizer frame I can put in there, but I kind of don't want it to stabilize. I want it to mutate. What is honey lemon lamb? Wow. Why should we check in? Oh, my hunger's fine. That's unusual. I'm almost always starving. All right, so common princess. Cultivated drone. Yeah, let's just try those two real quick. What what could happen? What could be the harm? So while I've been away, um, the other guys here, it looks like uh, blood magic has been expanded by a lot. I imagine Funshine's working on that one. I do not know for sure. Um, over this way, got a big old tree. Um, I believe Damp Sky is working on trees. As you can see, a tree just grew. <laughs> tree breeding over there. Um, so if you want to really get what's going on with those, you know, you might want to check out the other guy's videos. I'm not sure how far uh, Funshine's gone with the blood magic. Let me take a shortcut over here. Look at it. He's got these factory blocks all drilling down to the ground here. Did those go any further? Look at that. Wow. There's all kinds of little platforms over there. I don't know what's going on with half of this stuff. We gotta get all together again. Alright, I snuck some elevators through here. This is just the, under the altar. Rune of Sacrifice. Okay, what's over here? Is this another Master Ritual Stone? What happens if I stand on it? and dance. <laughs> I was hoping for lightning. But anyway, um, here, oh, here we got the, the altar with a hopper feeding it. And over here you got a funnel. Brings down, I think we got the like villager or something spawning up above now. And then this picks up all of their mob or whatever garbage. And oh, yep, that's right. Here we go. State on. So yeah, you can flip that on. Let's go upstairs real quick. Elevator. Oh yeah, check that out. Nice little spawning floor. Tesseract. Giving fluid and energy. And that's an auto spawner. I'm always afraid to click on these things. <laughs> what do we got? Safari net for villagers. Okay, yeah, so you can spawn villagers into there. I am not entirely certain why. Um, I don't want to jump in because then I'll get stuck in the funnel. Rune of Augmented Capacity, Rune of Sacrifice. This is really cool looking. Where's the knife? Dagger of Sacrifice. All right, let's sacrifice somebody. I have no idea how this works. <laughs> but I know I can sacrifice somebody, right? Blood Magic Alchemical Wizardry. Oh, hello. My, my, oh, my victims are arriving. Oh, look at that. Filling up with blood. 
Blood. Blood magic. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Let's turn that off. Oh, one moment here. Um, pardon that noise. That was uh, <laughs> just a little bit of somebody trying to call me. Um, okay, turn it off. Turn it off. No more villagers. No more villagers. And hey, now it looks like it's... What are we putting here? What are we doing here? I better put the dagger back before I forget. Someone will be pissed. <laughs> Blood magic. Let's let's put my sword in. Whoa! Oh, I've got a thing. I, I lost my sword. <laughs> broadsword. What? Really? Is that is that a broadsword? <laughs> it doesn't look like a broadsword. <laughs> oh, wait. There. Oh, it went back. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I am going to come back to this. This sounds interesting. Um, you know, magic blood and all. Come back downstairs. I love these elevators. Oh my gosh. Open blocks. Thank you. All right. I'll do one final check on my industrial apiary. See how this haphazard breeding is going. Diligent. That is not the branch I was hoping for. Dang it. That is the industrious branch. I am going for the, um, uh, what is it? It's not, I almost said ignoble. Um, imperial. Imperial line of bees. So at least we're, we're on the right track. I got a, col a mutation, so that's good. Is she, is she pure? Whoa, it's pure. That seems unlikely. Okay, so this guy cultivated common drone. Oh, I lost the princess in the process here. Cult common cultivated. Oh, that's shortest times three. So let's see. What are you? You're... Okay, you're junk. You're better. Common. No. Not what I want. Noble! Oh, I did get it! Oh my gosh! Yes! Okay. Common and noble, though. Ugh. Um, so that means, shoot, how do I get a pure noble out of this? I need to breed, crossbreed this guy, um, with, okay, that's good, that's good. Um, I need to crossbreed him with something, buddy, with a lot of, um, fertility multipliers that are, yeah, shoot, what's, <laughs> maybe commons, maybe I should stick with commons? So he's my only noble right now. What's the diligent? You're not reproductive at all. You, okay, majestic. Maybe, do I have any other, get back here, thank you. I'm glad I had that turned off. Do I have any other majestic? No, I don't have any other majestic princesses, do I? These do not have a high um, reproduction multiplier. Oh, and it's nighttime. So I am really not getting very many majestic out of there. I guess I have just this one extra majestic. Do I risk it? Do I gamble it? I have been doing so and having some luck really so far. So one more time. Got a pure majestic with times four. Uh, common drone, common cultivated. Okay, you're, you're mediocre. I could probably try you with another cultivated again. You're times three, so it's not bad. This guy is times two common noble if i get the noble to cross so you're only a times two and this guy's a times four uh if i can get if the noble crosses with any of them i could get an imperial out of it and then it would just be a delicate process of getting the imperial i think oh it took so it didn't take that long to get this whatever i'm gonna i'm gonna chance it i'm a risk taker right Right? I bet there's a frame. I, I might be able to upgrade the... Uh, let, let's take a look at that real quick. Majestic Princess. And no turning back if I do this. Oh, I hate having that common in there, but... There, I did it. It's going. It's done. I'm not going to stop it. I'm not going to stop it. I'm not going to stop it. There, it's done. Okay, no turning back now. <laughs> 
Um, so upgrade frame. Oops. So these are called upgrades. Here we go. Look at all these things. Production upgrade. Uh, lifespan. Flowering. Territory. Humidifier. Dryer. Heater. Cooler. Seal. Light. Open sky. Oh, so I could... I can have them underground. Easier to have them above ground and get the rest of the bonuses, though. Hell emulation. <laughs> Automation. I got that. Sieve. Um, pollen collection. I don't know exactly what that means. Maybe it automatically outputs pollen or something? Desert. Plains. Jungle. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, there we go. Genetic stabilizer. Has a genetic kinase minus 100%. And there's my cat again. This is apparently her time of the night. <laughs> and that's just the basic frame. All right, so. Twenty nine percent. Oh gosh, it's nerve wracking. Oh, let's go sleep. Let's sleep over here. Why not? And this will be the last thing I do this episode. I'm just gonna find out if we're super lucky or if the typical normal thing happens. Forty three percent. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Maybe we should take a walk. Uh, you can see underneath here, we've, I've expanded this lower platform quite a bit. Oh, while I'm down here, I didn't even torch this up. I expanded this a little while ago, and I do not want to have mobs spawning right underneath me, so I'm going to torch this up a bunch. Thank you. Oh, um, yeah, so we expanded the platforms underneath here a bit. Uh, so we got access to most of the bottom side of the park. Uh, I've got elevators all over wherever I found it convenient. Um, just because I was working with stuff above and below a lot. And it got annoying. Alright. Oh, come on. Come on. I should get the other pair ready. 60%. Alright, it's going to be like two more ticks on that or whatever. Um, so let me see what's... What are you? You're common cultivated with a decent fertility. So I would probably cross you with another cultivated queen, of which I have a million over here. Ig oh wait, that was ignoble. Yeah, I want to. I don't want ignoble. I want to make sure I got pristine. Thank you. And you are cultivated, cultivated two times. All right. See, maybe I should be looking for. I should be more picky in my in my uh, queens here. Let's try a you guys. There's so many of you. Right? That's a that's a good indicator. Nope, that's not a good indicator. I'm looking for ones with high uh, fertility. Seems like the ones with the most in here should be more likely to have a high fertility. No, they don't. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'll keep it. It's pristine. I'm not going to dig through there that much. Oh, look at this. Okay, we got so many. That's awesome. We got the high um, multiplier. Only one princess, though. All right. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What do we got? Majestic Noble. Okay, that's excellent. That is super good. That is exactly what I want. And the Noble has four times, so good. You, uh, you go up there. Um... Majestic Imperial! I got Imperial with a four times fertility multiplier. Oh my gosh, yes! That is so fantastic. Okay, you were drone number one. I can't believe that worked on the first try. Majestic and Noble. Majestic and Noble, you're the same-ish. Majestic and Noble. And the big one, the, qu the queen, the princess. Majestic Common. Oh. Yuck. Mm. And the common has the four times multiplier. I really could use another majestic princess now. Because I'm going to have to use that one with the majestic imperial. But the imperial has a four times. So whatever the imperial crosses with should have a better chance. But so does the common. Ugh. Come on, bring me. You know what? I'm going to... Uh, leave that there for now, and I'm gonna cross my fingers that at some point, maybe, maybe, 
you know, it probably won't ever happen. Um, yeah, I'll never get an extra with a two times multiplier. Dang it. All right, so I will just have to um, risk the crossbreeding. So thank you very much, <laughs> Majestic Common and Majestic Imperial. Or should I should I breed out that common first? Oh, I have other Majestic Drones. Okay, that was a little glitch there in my recording, sorry. Um, I was, as I was saying, that I, a much better idea would be to take one of these pure Majestic Drones and breed out, try to breed out that common line that way to save my Majestic Imperial, <clears throat> gosh, excuse me, um, where it won't be crossed with the common and get really, really messy. Um, so let's just double check. You're going to be fine, Majestic, Majestic, four times even. Where's that with the rest of the Majestics? Jeez. I should swap you you guys in. There. What? <laughs> all right, okay, okay, okay. So first of all, I'm going to breed you guys. And then I'm going to go um, check out, what the heck, how did I just happen to grab like a, a four times reproductive multiplier there out of the chest. Do I have these sitting around and I'm just not using them? Four times. You, get in there. Get your get your good super duplicative genes in there. Man, I could have been having tons of those majestic princesses. I mean, I guess it's not a big deal now. I'm on the way to Imperial already with, with the same four times multiplier, but all right, <laughs> that's enough beekeeping for today. I am loving the industrial apiary. Um, I might actually go ahead and craft another one. I, as I am typically, I typically do. Um, I add all these recipes <laughs> to applied energistics because I don't want to manually craft anything. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know me, uh, yeah, that's. That's how I roll. Oh, there's a cable there. Why is there a cable there? I must be going somewhere? Hmm. How about here? That's better. So... I will see everybody next time. And uh, be sure to check out uh, both uh, FunchinX and Damsky's channel as well. Their links will be in the comments on here. Uh, you can check out the portions that they're working on. And um, I will be doing regular episodes on this series again. Hopefully be meeting up with either Funshine or Damn Sky here, here and there. Um, let's not starve, by the way. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll try to get all three of us together as often as possible. So I will see you on the next episode.